Hi coaches, welcome to the XPS Network phone app tutorial. Once you connect to your account, you will arrive bottom left on the welcome page. There are three views possible from the welcome page, from the top tabs, the agenda view by default that will allow you to scroll down and see upcoming activities for the different organizations and teams you are linked to. You can hit the top calendar tab if you want a monthly view. You can swipe left or right, select a specific date, scroll down if you want to see the activities for that date and you can hit the go to today button if you want to come back. You can select the training status if the health module has been activated for your team. You can click on a player and see information provided by the medical staff. From the agenda, you can select any activity, see the general information at the top, see the attendance status for your players. You have three tabs at the bottom middle of your screen the plan tab where you can access content that has been assigned to your training session, the attendance tab, so you can see, modify participation status for players. You can use the hit button to add a quick note. And you can also access the members tab to access other coaches, access athletes, see the family members associated with them, their emergency contact if this information has been properly filled out. In the athlete section, there's the plus button. So you can manage athletes. So for example, if I want to take away some athletes for this session or game or activity, I can temporarily take them out of the group. So this activity will disappear. Or if I have call up players on my user management list, I can activate them from here for this specific activity. Top right, you have the setting button so you can edit your training plan so you can switch the order of the exercises change the time you can hit the top left button if you want to go and look into your library you can select you can view or select add to practice Close, go back to your plan view, or you can hit the information tab if you want to change some general information, add notes. The general notes section is visible by everyone. The coach's notes section is only visible by the coaches. Once you're done, you can hit finish and Changes are saved. From these three buttons, you can also send a message to your members, specifically in regards to this activity. You can duplicate this training session or activity. You can save it as a template or you can delete it from the calendar. Now we're going to take a look at the user management icon, which is the second from the bottom left. So over here, you have access to your different teams. You can see the coaches that are in your team. You can swipe left on any user to take them out permanently from a group with the red button, or you can mask them. This is very useful for call-up coaches or athletes that will only 
participate once in a while in training session or games. You can hit the plus button if you want to add any missing coaches to your team from your organization. You can do the same thing with uh, players. So if I take out a player, I want to add this player back. I can go select them. You can also click on a player to have access to their information. So you can message them. You can see at the bottom uh, the family members associated with them. You can access their personal agenda. Sometimes this is useful. If a player forgets their phone, they want to fill out a, a form so you can help them out with that. I can select a family member and depending on the privacy setting, I will see um, email, phone number, or I can message the family member from the top right icon. Bottom middle of your screen, the plus button. From here, you can add different activities to your team calendar. So if I select practice, I can create a practice from scratch, or I can use some of the saved templates. So if I create a new practice, I then select one of my teams. This will open up on the information tab. You can create labels to identify what type of practice this is. You can use different colors, access history of your locations or create a new one, ask athletes to be there a certain time before the activity, add a general note, and you can leave uh, something in the coaching box note. So anything in the general note section will be viewed by everyone anything in the coaches notes only viewed by coaches and team managers once you're done this you can hit the plan tab at the top you can select your library and you can either scroll down find some content using the search bar you can use the folder icon depending on how the club or the organization is going to give you access to the content. Once you're done selecting, you hit finish. I can decide on the duration of each exercise. Please note that when you add this information at the top right, it's going to automatically change the duration of the session. So you want to make sure it adds up to the proper duration and you can change the order of the exercises by selecting and changing the order. Let's now take a look at the folder icon. You can access different drill collections. You can access the exercise collection, documents, you can view the different documents, videos. You can use the top right icon, the arrow pointing upwards to send this through messaging. Workouts, team practices. So you can basically have access to anything that the club gives you access to in these different tabs. You can use a little folder icon if you prefer looking through the different folders, easier to search, or you can use the search bar if you know the name of the document or the item that you're looking for in the different categories. Last icon at the bottom right is the monitoring module so over here you can access your different 
teams. You can access the player reports. So right now we have the player card selected. This is a player report. I can scroll down and see the different player tabs that I want to, to see. I can hit the right icon, select another player. I can use the select period function to look at information by day, by week. You have different settings over here. Select the period, close. At the top, I can swipe left if I want to access my different team reports. So if I want to see the team reports, I go through here. Simply scroll down. If you have tables, generally you're going to want to swipe left also to see data on the right side. From tables, you can generally select a player as well. So you go straight to their individual profile. If you're missing a report to view, you can hit the top right plus button, select a missing report, or you can apply from a, another team. Back on the welcome page, we're going to take a look at the top right icons. So the first one is the messages. So here you access the different group and individual conversations that you have. You can open a conversation. You can use your keyboard to write. You can hit the plus button, select an attachment from your camera roll, video, photo, send a file, or you can send stuff from your club library top right three dots you can mute hide any conversation you can edit or delete any conversation that you would have created top right icon when you arrive in messages you can create new conversations so if you want to communicate with your team we recommend going to the team tab then you're gonna select which team you want to communicate with and from here you can name the conversation you can decide who's going to be part of this conversation is it just coaches and family members or only coaches and athletes and you can decide if people can respond in that conversation or should it be just limited to coaches or uh, if you're a club admin you can select only admin can post so this is useful for club-wide communication, one-way communication, where we just want to send the general information towards our members. If you're looking to communicate with a coach or an athlete or a family member, you can use the different tabs, open up the different groups, select the person you want to communicate with, and you send your message. When you create a new message, there's also an added function for coaches. So you can create a custom chat group. So this is useful if you want to create, for example, a small subgroup, let's say of uh, family members that will be helping uh, with the team logistic. So I can select uh, two family members, maybe a team captain from a group. And then I select uh, two, uh, two other coaches. And then I hit next and then I can name the group. And once again, if I want to limit the ability for some types of users to respond, I can select only coaches can, can post in this group. Last two icons on the welcome page, top right, notification icon so if push notifications are sent to announce changes in the schedule you can view the history of notifications there or you can click on the top right circle where you have access to a few settings the first one is select visible team so this is very useful when you're connected to multiple teams so you can only select a few that you want to have visible on your welcome page. You then have the edit profile. 
feature so you can change your profile image, add or change your personal information, modify your username, modify your password. You then have the settings button where you can manage your notifications. We always recommend uh, having at least the first two selected so you get notifications for new messages and updates on the calendar. You can manage your device language, change the time format, and you can export uh, your XPS calendar to an Apple calendar or Google calendar by using the blue button at the bottom. The last feature is the switch account feature. So this is useful in some cases, some coaches, well, young coaches are also athletes. So if you have, or some team managers are also family members. So if you have more than one account, you can add a second account here. Once I log in, I can simply hit that top right circle, switch account. You will get a message at the top of your screen confirming that you have made the account switch. And last button at the bottom is the logout button if you need to log out of your session.